Hello, this is Mr. Huff, and I want to talk about doing some data analysis using Google Sheets. So let's say that I have some distances that I measured here, and I want to know the time. And we talked about how to get this equation in class, so now it's going to be time to use it. So to enter the equation that we talked about, we're going to type uh, in the first cell B2, we're going to put equal. We're going to open, no, let's do this, um, square root, open two parentheses. The reason we're doing that is we have to multiply before we divide. We're going to take the number two times, and then we're going to click on cell A2, close the parentheses. So we're going to multiply those two first, and then divide by 9.81. If you leave the... Uh, first two parentheses off and just use one, it's going to take the square root of the uh, product and then divide that product by 9.81 and that's not what we want. So it needs to look like that. Okay, so let's look at that equation real quick right here. Square root, two parentheses, two times the distance divided by 9.81. All right, to autofill that, just point at this little square at the bottom corner, double click, and it will go all the way down. You'll notice my numbers changed. I've got these set up as random, so they're going to change all the time. So we get our time measurements here. If you want to clean it up a little bit to make it where it's not so busy, you can click on this arrow to decrease decimal points and take it down to about uh, three places would be fine. That's plenty of decimals. All right, now let's say we want to do some analysis, get some summary stats on this. Um, we're going to go over here and we're going to type uh, for mean. We're going to click on equal and type in the word average, open a parenthesis, and then select all of your times. And then we're going to go right here. Uh, let's say we want to get a median. So we're going to type equals median. And then we're going to select all of this data here and then hit enter. Let's say we want to get the mode. There's several different mode uh, tools. So we're just going to use a single mode. So you're just going to put equal mode and open a parenthesis and select your times, close the parenthesis. And in this case, I don't have a mode, so it's going to show in a, that means there's no mode. Uh, for standard deviation, we're just going to use the uh, sample standard deviation. So we're just going to type in equal S T D E V. Open a parenthesis and select the time data. Okay. And again, if you want to reduce the number of decimal places, you can use this button here. But for now, that's fine. So this is giving us an indication of the amount of data spread. Uh, the more data you get here, the lower this number will get. So uh, range is just going to be the maximum minus the minimum. So to calculate the range automatically, you're going to put equal and you type the word max. Close the parenthesis. Select all your data. Close that parenthesis minus min and select your data same set close the parentheses and now you have the range okay uh, another thing that you can do i'm going to grab all of these and just copy them uh, you can put some charts and things you look at this data you figure out how to show it to me uh, in the best way possible i really like to use this easy histogram maker i'll provide the link but all you have to do is copy and paste your data set here and then go generate and it generates a histogram for you. And my data is random, so it's going to be all over the place. Uh, if you don't like how this looks, it's real easy to go in and change the number of classes and it will redo that for you. And then you can change the, this to like three click edit histogram so you can change the parameters uh, when you use this I suggest when you're done you do a screenshot of this whole section showing the data table here and the histogram itself so if you want to use this tool to help you 
develop your argument that would be awesome so anyway again i'll provide this link you can also google easy histogram maker and it will take you right to this web page it's a social science statistics page all right so that is a crash course in doing some uh, quick calculations using uh, google sheets so uh, i'll have more data about the uh, assignment in the assignment all right thank you bye